Hello, this is Alex from Lincoln Park Library, and today's How To Tuesday is how to make my favorite applesauce muffins. So ingredients you will need include one cup of applesauce, a third cup of oil, one egg, two cups of flour, half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, as well as half a teaspoon of salt. And for this video, I actually have this recipe. So if you wish to have it, then you just cut all of these proportions in half. So for step one, I combined all of my dry ingredients in a bowl. Um, before I even do that, you'll actually preheat your oven to 350 degrees so that it's all ready once your mix is all combined. So after you preheat your oven, you are going to mix together your dry ingredients, which include flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. So I typically add a little extra cinnamon just because I really like it and I think that everything tastes better with a little extra cinnamon. So you can see here in the picture, it looks like a, a lot of cinnamon. It's because I added extra. So if you like cinnamon as much as I do, feel free to add some extra. Moving on to step two, this is when you'll combine your wet ingredients. So you want to blend together applesauce, your oil, your egg, and your sugar until it's combined. And I just used a handheld mixer for this part. So for the dry ingredients, I just used a spatula and for the wet ingredients, I used my handheld mixer. For step three, this is when you're going to combine your wet and dry ingredients. So I took my dry and I poured it into the bowl of my wet ingredients and I used that handheld mixer to blend them completely to make my batter. So once I completed the batter, there is an optional step that you can take here. So step four, the optional step, you can add in cranberries, raisins, and or walnuts. Uh, what I typically do for these, I add dried cranberries, but there are some people who, especially like candied walnuts within it, um, or if you prefer raisins over dried cranberries, you can use them as well. Uh, but this is an optional step. You do not have to do this step. Then for step five, you will line your muffin tin with your liners, or you will grease it using spray or butter. And then you'll want to fill your muffin tins approximately halfway. Another option you could do as well, you could actually top your batter when they're in your muffin tins with the craisins, raisins, walnuts, or whatever you want. You can see that I actually didn't add the craisins to the batter itself. I ended up putting them on top, and then I just kind of pushed them down a little bit, covered them a little bit with batter so that they were mainly on the top layer. Then you'll wanna put your muffins into your oven at 350 degrees and you'll bake them for about like 15 to 20 minutes. I initially put my muffins in for 15 minutes, but it actually was not long enough. So I tested it by opening the oven and tapping the top of the muffins and it completely just collapsed. It was still really wet. It was not baked enough to be taken out of the oven. So I put it on for another three minutes. It still wasn't quite right. So I ended up doing 20 minutes total and I got that perfect golden brown muffin. And you can see here all of my craisins that I had put on top and they all baked in really nicely. And these applesauce muffins end up being a really moist, cinnamony treat. They're really great for mornings on the go, you know, with your kids or for yourself, like if you're running late or you just need something, maybe like a snack for lunch. These are really awesome to just like kind of throw in your lunch bag on the go for you to enjoy, you know, all times of day, not even just breakfast. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope you make them at home. And as always, let me know how it goes. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.